Hello and welcome to the BSR Sports YouTube channel for the Home and Away series. If you've not already joined me, my name is Blair McNally and today I'm in Dumbarton. Yes, if you don't know what to expect, here's a quick preview. <laughs> Right, cheers for the left arm. Through the highways, till my shadow turns to sun rays, and on and on we'll go. Through the wastelands, through the highways, and on and on we'll go. What a day it is to be here in the Barton, yes. You see the rock is behind me, if you've not already seen it before. But yeah, I've just landed here. I'm actually early on time for once, not rushing. So I've got about half an hour to kill. Um, before I give you a quick preview, why don't we get a couple interviews, see what the fans are saying about today's game. Right, so we're, we're here with... Jimmy McCallum. Sean McCallum. And Jay McCallum. And obviously, we've got one of you as a Dumbarton fan. Uh, two, the no, other two. United, Aston Villa. Villa. Aston Villa. So, <laughs> what brings you up here? To uh, my dad. This is his homeland. So, yeah, come up to watch the game against uh, Montrose. Big Dumbarton fan then. Oh, uh, How does it feel aye. to be back? Aye. Great to be back. Is it? When was the last time you were back then? Uh, I came up here about two years ago, mm -hmm. and uh, the previous to that was twenty years ago mm -hmm. when we watched the Cowden Beef game. It was, oh, right. it was one each, you know. So. Obviously, Dumbarton not doing too well at the moment. Not too uh, well. At the bottom of the table, it's a big match against Montrose today, isn't it? I would say that was a big match again with East Fife, and every game is a big match this season now. Towards the end of the season, we all get as many points as we can. Uh, so, in terms of predictions for today, going to smash them. Do you think I, so? I, I, I think I'd hope for a two-nil win to Dumbarton. Yeah. A shock for the books. And who's going to score? Uh, I don't know. What do you say, is it? Yeah. What, what, what do you say the prediction's going to be? Uh, 2 1 to the bar. And for yourself? Also, Listen, guys, thank you very much. Enjoy the game. Nice one. Thanks. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers, fella. Thanks. Take care. I'm David and this is Jaden. This Great. is his second ever Suns game. Second ever Suns yeah, game. Good. Are you looking forward to it? Obviously you've, you've, you've kitted out in the, yeah, the Suns yeah. top. Uh, massive game today to be honest with you. Yeah. Dumbarton at the bottom of the table, Montrose at the top. Do you think it's possible to get a win? I, 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 I'd be happy with a draw today after the performances the last few weeks but you know we can pull something out of the bag. The last away game was uh, I think it was Clyde 1-3-0 or 3-1 with yeah. my way so we've got it in us. So. And then you've obviously got uh, the pressure that's on the manager at the moment, yeah. Would, do you agree with it? Yes, yes, because managers live by the results, but there's a lot of individual errors in the team as well. You know, we've lost so many early goals within three or four minutes to start the game. We need to cut that out, and that's maybe down to the players. So you, you said you would like a draw today, score prediction? Happy with a draw, but I'm, I'm going for 2-1. What about yourself? Would you like to see a win on your second ever Suns game? A win. Yeah. We'll just go for a win. We'll go for a win, right? So we're here with a Montrose fan this time, not a Dumbarton fan. Aye. What's your name, sorry? Kenny. Kenny. Amy. Amy, nice to meet you. So how far have you travelled today? What I've time come did from you Perth. Yeah, what time did you leave at? Um, quarter to one. Quarter to one. Oh, that's easy. Not <laughs> as bad as Montrose, eh? No, no. So Montrose looking very good and third at the moment. Do you think uh -huh. that third is secure? Not secure, still a wee bit worried about next couple of games. Yeah, I'm a Thistle fan, so uh. you've just secured blue lines on a permanent. Uh, that's a big move. Doesn't seem to be the player he was when he no. left us. And he's on the bench today. He was great last week. Have we ruined him. <laughs> no blaming news. Yeah. So getting into the game today, the Butler obviously struggling. Aye. Do you think it's a it's going to be a comfortable one or? 
no yeah. comfortable. We're still dealing with suspensions. I've just seen the team. Yeah, not exactly happy with the what team. What do you think about the team then? I can't work out who's playing up front. <laughs> <laughs> that might be a problem. What's your score prediction then for today? I'll take a 2 now. 2 now? What about yourself? Yeah, the same. Same? Aye. Right, enjoy the game. Great, thanks very much. Okay. Right, so the interviews have been done. We've got the thoughts of the fans. Why don't I give you a quick preview into the teams today? So obviously, uh, we have Montrose, our visitors. Oh, they're the better of the two teams, definitely. They are the favourites going into today's game. Montrose currently sitting third, comfortable, very comfortable indeed. Uh, there's a good gap between fourth and second, so it looks as if Montrose will finish in third this season, going into the playoffs. Um, they're obviously hoping for promotion. It is a totally different fight for Dumbarton. Dumbarton actually sits second bottom. Uh, they they need to get a win. They're two points off of Peterhead, who are the um, a place above them. So if Dumbarton are wanting to stay up, they're going to need to get a result today. I've got nothing else to do. I'll get you in the ground.
Yes, I'm back, it's the next day, and yeah, Dumbarton, what a place, is it the most beautiful stadium um, in the country, right behind the Dumbarton Rock, that's for you to decide, I would say personally, from all the stadiums I've been to, it's definitely up there, beautiful, beautiful day, uh, I think it was close to 20 degrees, so I loved it, I hope you did enjoy the video. We weren't treated with goals, unfortunately. We did get a penalty save, we got a red card. And all in all, it was a great day out. I thoroughly enjoyed it. Um, so, what I usually do after games, if you've not already seen my videos, is I do a review of five different factors. So these five factors, I feel, define the match day experience at the football. Why don't we get straight into it? Okay, so, first factor is always football. Football was the most important part of any game. The quality of the football, it wasn't there on Saturday, unfortunately. League One, I expected Montrose to come, and yeah, Montrose didn't show up, to be honest with you. Dumbarton obviously struggling at the bottom of the table. Didn't expect much from them. But, all in all, fair enough to Dumbarton. Dumbarton took the game to Montrose. They knew they had to get something from it. And a point was a very least they deserved, to be honest with you. Uh, yeah, no, no, probably about right. Could have been maybe one each, no, no. But yeah, for football, because the quality wasn't there, there was no goals, etc. It was a very scrappy game. I'm going to give it a five out of ten. Right. So in terms of price, we had ten pound entry for all adults. If you had a friend that was a season ticket holder, you would get in for free. Obviously, I want to see the prices of getting into games, so. I wasn't going to cheat and find a season ticket holder. I was uh, paid £10. So it was good. That £10 can go a long way to a local club. The Barton's obviously close to me. Um, so that's why I did decide to go on Saturday. Because I was going out on Saturday night. Back on to price. Before I start rambling. <laughs> one ninety five for the pie as well. So if you're a football fan you'll know. one ninety five for a pie you don't see anywhere anymore. It's usually two fifty. Or two seventy five at Thistle. I think it's up to two ninety five for a Scotch pie, so it's not, it's not good. Three paying three pound for a pie. Football clubs are starting to rip fans off. To be honest with you, you can go into the shop and get what four pies, two pies. Sorry for a pound. Do you know? So it's not good. But the button, well done. One ninety five for a freshly baked Scotch pie. Incredible value, yeah. You don't find that places anymore with ten pound entry and then that. So, and all in all, I'm going to give price a nine out of ten. Well done, Dumbarton. Okay, so in terms of atmosphere, so turn up to Dumbarton. It's not the biggest of clubs, right? So you're not expecting the most, but I've heard good things about this certain group called the Young Sons. If you've not seen the documentary already made by them. I'll put the link in the bio. So, the Young Sons was started off by three boys. Um, I think around the ages of 11, 12. Just wanting to make an atmosphere at the local club. 
They've brought in boys who supported Celtic Rangers from the local community and got them supporting Dumbarton with the help of the club. Drums, flags, uh, even a loudspeaker, etc. They're starting to try and make an atmosphere. So, at the start of the game, I was thinking to myself, these boys are scared. They're, they're not really wanting to make an atmosphere. The flags were going. I heard the drum beating a wee bit, but they weren't actually making an atmosphere. Once stuff started to happen, I think the boys just went for it and they were brilliant. I think they need to start, just don't think about anybody else, just do it. Enjoy yourself, you're there to enjoy yourself. And when they did start going, everybody else get involved. It, to be honest with you, it's a great idea. So, yeah, in terms of atmosphere, I'm going to give that a 7 out of 10. Because when they did get going, they were good. Okay, so food. What did I think about the food then? Uh, I got a pie and a Capri Sun. Uh, the pie was nice to be honest with you. Pie, Scotch pies sometimes they can either be soft mutton meat or they can be quite tough. Um, not tough but like hard meat. This was a very soft one, very easy to eat. Um, I liked it, you could tell it's from a, a local bakery anyway, which is good. Um, I'm going to try and try a pie everywhere I go in Scotland because a pie and a bovro is what I want to do. That is just the the Scottish thing to do, isn't it? But yeah, I didn't get a bovro this time because it was absolutely roasting. Uh, I ended up just getting an, uh, a Capris on actually. Saw a lot of these kid box things in front of me. What an idea. So you get your choice of savoury things, sausage rolls, pie, etc. put in it. Uh, it had everything in it from like crisps, sweets, juice, uh, polo mints, etc. Great idea. I've seen a lot of dads getting it for their kids and just sitting with this kids box and they could just have fun with all this, all these wee snacks and treats and they could enjoy the football. So it's a brilliant idea. I think more clubs should invest in stuff like this. Gets families there. It makes it more enjoyable rather than hitting the kids with a pie and a bovro because kids don't really want that, do they? Um, in terms of food, I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10. Okay, so facilities, last but not least. Facilities, is this the best place stadium in Scotland? Uh, if you've not seen the photo on the thumbnail, it's just a remarkable stadium right in front of the Button Rock. Uh, when I was younger, when you're driving up across the other side of the Clyde to Greenock and back, people may, may know this from the west of Scotland, but you can always see the floodlights. I would always look out for the floodlights of the stadium behind the Button Rock as you're driving by. And it's just beautifully, beautifully, beautifully placed. <laughs> um, the stadium had all the essentials, very well laid out. Uh, the problem is there's only one stand. I didn't like the fact there's only one stand. I think there is problems with planning permission. Dumbarton are trying to move stadium. I don't know why. I hope they don't. And they work something out. Um, but yeah, they've only got one stand. So in terms of that, I'm going to give it a 7.5 out out of 10. Ladies and gentlemen, girls and boys, that is me for yet another week. If you enjoyed the video, click that like button down below, takes two seconds. If you haven't already, just do me the one big favour, see that subscription button, the big red subscription button, get it clicked. That's all I'm asking you to do. Where would you like to see me go next? If you want me to come and see your local team, Drop a comment down below, tell me exactly where you are and I'll do my best to come and do a match day experience and review on your local team. I've been to England, I've been to Ireland, I've been to Scotland. Nowhere's a limit, so let me know. Drop a comment if you'd like to see me do anything special. But until then, it's a goodbye from me.